All right, you're getting very good at using Excel to do some math problems for you. So we're going to continue with that, and hopefully this will be a little, little bit fun. We're going to start in A1, and we're going to type the word balance. And you know that the balance is how much money you're starting with. Okay, so you might want to make column A a little bit more wide than it, than it is. So then we're going to click over in B1, type a dollar sign, and we're going to start out with uh, $412.55. I'm going to I'm going to give you that much imaginary money to start with. So that's your checking account. Okay? Now, we need to keep track of everything you purchase and how much it costs and also how much money you deposit into your checking account because it's really important that you know how much money you have so that you don't run out of money. All right, so you've got $412.55, and let's say that you need to buy gasoline for your car. And as you're probably aware, gasoline is kind of ridiculously expensive. So we're going to put in gasoline. Don't put gas, because gas is actually a different thing than gasoline. So we're going to put gasoline, and um, I found gasoline fair, uh, a little bit cheaper this morning, so I got a half a tank. I already had a half a tank, so I filled up. And when I filled up this morning, it cost me $24.35 for a half a tank of gas. $24.35. So now I want to know what my new balance is. So I'm going to type balance in because I want to subtract what I spent from what I had. Okay, so you know that we're going to click where we want our answer and click equals. Now we don't want to put $412.55 minus $24.35. We want to use the cell names. So we're going to take what I started with, my starting balance, and since I spent money, this will be subtract, so minus um, how much did I spend. That's in B2. And then hit enter. And I know that. Um, I now have $388.20, okay? So, let's say that um, after school, uh, I needed to stop and buy new running shoes. And my particular running shoes are fairly expensive, but they're really good quality shoes. And that says a lot for not being in pain when you're running. So, uh, they're a little bit expensive. We're going to put a do uh, dollar sign. They're usually around $112.08, okay, for running shoes. Okay, so my balance was $388.20. I bought running shoes, and now I need to know my new balance. New balance, and I'm going to click right here. And obviously, as you know, type equals. And then I'm going to put my previous balance, happens to be in B3. And I spent money, so minus... $112.08 is in B4, which is the amount that I paid for my running shoes. And then enter will tell me how much money I have now. So it was an expensive day. I started out my day with $412.55. I bought some gasoline, and that took me down to $388.20. And I bought some running shoes for $112.08, and that took me down to $276.12. All right. So what 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 I'm saying here is that you have to keep track of exactly what you spent and what your kind of running balance is. And if it helps you to see your balance better, you can. Oops, I clicked in the wrong spot. If you uh, need, want to like just kind of put a little color there each time you have a balance, that might help you see what your balance is doing. So you can see balance is shrinking down a little bit. Okay, so you are going to start out in A1, write balance, in B1, put $412.55, and you're going to just track your purchases. Maybe you wouldn't buy gasoline for your car. Maybe you would buy the new Halo game, or maybe, I don't know what you would buy, but after every purchase, you need to then put balance and then figure out your new balance in your account. Okay, so... In this project, you need to make seven purchases, but you can only have two paychecks. Okay, so like we're going along after I bought my running shoes. Let's say I got a paycheck. 
and let's say my paycheck was has to be less than five hundred dollars so let's say it was four hundred and sixty five dollars and seventy two cents oops I typed that wrong seventy two cents okay well I had two hundred seventy six dollars and twelve cents and I added to that so our new balance you're not going to subtract because you you're adding uh, way if I could type there we go is you're adding money to what you had so for a paycheck you would then go equals this plus this all right and so now we're up to seven hundred forty one dollars and eighty four cents you need to make seven purchases and only two paychecks so you're gonna have to watch what you buy you none of your purchases can be for more than two hundred dollars you can't buy anything for more than two hundred dollars and your paycheck cannot be for more than five hundred dollars okay you need to buy seven items none of them can be for more than two hundred dollars and you're only going to get two paychecks and the paychecks cannot be worth more than five hundred dollars and you, you can't go in the red you can't have like negative negative money because that's a very bad thing okay so your assignment is to start out put balance in a1 put four hundred twelve dollars and fifty five cents in b1 then you need to make seven purchases one at a time so one thing and then you got to find the balance and buy another thing you got to find the balance and at some point you're going to need to stick in a paycheck paycheck cannot be worth more than five hundred dollars save it as last name paycheck and turn or last name checkbook I'm sorry last name checkbook and then turn it in